Channel 5, KSTP-TV, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Good morning, everybody. Um, tonight we're presenting a program which I hope many of you have seen before. And if you did, you'll want to see it again. It features Mr. Sterling Hayden. And I think I said last week that uh, we felt after doing this show in New York back in March, it was one of the best that we've ever done in this series. I think it is probably the single best thing we've done in terms of profiling a man who's had a very, very difficult life. He's had uh, personal misfortune. He's had financial trouble. Uh, he has experienced things that most of us uh, can only dream about because we don't have the the guts that this man has. Uh, he discovered marijuana or pot very late in life, says it's one of the best things that's ever happened to him, that it enables him to see things he never saw before. And he talks about those in this show. Uh, after we finished this uh, show in New York back in March, uh, the next morning we got a lot of telegrams at 30 Rock saying, please have him back. We haven't managed to do that, but you'll see why we should after you watch the show tonight. Now here is Mr. Sterling Hayden, who has been known to scoff at some of his work in pictures, but his list of performances could rank on just about anybody's list of good ones. In The Asphalt Jungle, Dr. Strangelove, The Last Goodbye. At the age of 60, he's now published his very first novel, even though he wrote an autobiography about 10, 12 years ago. The novel's called Voyage. It's a story about the sea, a story about America, on the threshold of the 20th century. Mr. Hayden is a man of the sea himself. He used to be a, uh, a, uh, a maritime man. Uh, in addition to being an actor, a writer, an adventurer, and a great proponent of uh, cannabis, of marijuana, which I want to talk about later when the, we get to where this man's going to come on and to explain the normal laws, or the, the laws with his organization. Say, now listen, I read somewhere where they had set up a big publicity tour for you for this book, Voyages, and you said, no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, well, and Tom, you know, in a way, it goes back to uh, 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 what you touched on a moment ago about 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 one's attitude towards one prior career, one might say. Or, or yep. even now, it's sort of a coincident career. I mean, uh, the yeah. acting thing. Um, uh, Are you all through acting? No, no, no. I I work when I get broke, or I work when something comes along that is really uh, has some integrity and guts for me. Got anything working now? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. I'm not working today, but uh, a lot of things are cooking, mm -hmm. and. Um, and the feeling I had about about the uh, the whole thing of the public uh, uh, public appearance tour about the, the novel Voyage was that yeah I agreed to go out because it makes sense and I and I, and I enjoy the shows so much myself mm -hmm. that I thought to be a part of them um, but then I thought no I sort of like to see the book go by its own uh, 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 because I get the other thing not just of being a writer but the uh, the, the hype of the of the ex actor uh, so I thought well let her go and see what she does you know so I pulled out of it and uh, and. Uh, temporarily and then I decided well might be time to go back now mm hmm well that's that's what piqued my interest in you when I read about the fact that they had you set up for it and then you didn't want to do it because I have the feeling most authors will do almost anything they can to hype to plug to promote to, to get that book off the ground yeah well I'm here now I'm I here noticed now. that but and uh, I kind of thought probably the I want to see what the book can do by itself you yeah. see I want to see it. and then I thought if, if providentially it might battle its way up into the middle of the New York Times bestseller list or something like that which it has done but I think it was there now it's beginning to recede so maybe uh, uh, what little of the war horse there is in me thought well uh, okay maybe go out and see what you can do and see if that changes anything mm -hmm. because actually when you when you when you when you bust your neck long enough on on, on this kind of, a, of of an endeavor why uh, you'd like to share it you know you'd like to share it I mean uh, I thought that probably the reason that you had agreed to come on here was because you're such a great admirer of this show. <laughs> you know why I'm here? No, I don't. All right, I'm here because it's a. Uh, this is this is no uh, this is no nonsense. Um, I've done uh, a couple of other shows in the last uh, last week, but I'll tell you the absolute truth. Uh, when the subject of going out came up first, mm -hmm. I said, "Well, I would like to get on a show where it's possible." Not just to uh, uh, skim the surface of, 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 of a lot of subjects, but do what, of course, you're noted for, what your show is noted for, which is, uh, uh, is talk. Talk, mm -hmm. talk. Talk, yeah, get into something. And uh, unless you get down into it, why, in a way, uh, you figure, what the, what's the use? You know? Yeah, if you yeah. go on for six minutes. And this, of course, is your forte, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Let's say a lot of people think so. Yeah. All right, yeah. d'accord. Uh, and don't tell them if you, if you find out that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the old line, hey, I hear you're making 60,000. <laughs>